Here is a routine IOL exchange in a patient that ended up significantly hyperopic after cataract surgery. I am reopening the same incisions that were created at the time of cataract surgery. The cataract surgery was performed only about a month previously, so there wasn't much fibrosis. Although I always strive for perfection, I don't always hit the bullseye. Most patients do really well after cataract surgery, but there are times when despite my best efforts, a patient has an undesirable result. Fortunately, these are uncommon outlier type occurrences. It's very important to be able to offer patients a solution to get them back on track. I usually correct small refractive errors with laser vision correction, such as LASIK or PRK. But with large refractive errors, I usually would perform an IOL exchange. I couldn't get under the capsule edge with the 27 gauge cannula here, but I was able to lift up the edge with a Drysdale instrument. I'm very generous with the viscoelastic. I love to drown the haptics in viscoelastic and I inflate the bag completely. Before cataract surgery, this patient was a plus eight diopter hyperope. After initial cataract surgery with the panoptics lens, she was a plus three diopter hyperope. Better, but nowhere near the bullseye. So I performed an IOL exchange to correct her residual refractive error. Her IOL was removed from the bag and placed into the anterior chamber. Here I am replenishing the viscoelastic that escaped during the lens manipulation. This haptic is crowding my incision, so I'm just going to rotate it out of the way. And then I'm going to put some viscoelastic anterior to this lens to protect the corneal endothelium. And next we are going to insert the new IOL directly into the bag posterior to the old lens implant. Her new IOL was placed into the bag prior to cutting and removing her first IOL from the eye. So she had two panoptics IOLs in her eye at the same time. So now instead of three points of focus, she has six points of focus. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but this scaffold technique by putting one lens under the other is a safety technique to prevent inadvertently cutting the posterior capsule. I'm using the MST IOL graspers in my left hand and the MST IOL cutters in my right hand. And I don't open the mouth of the scissors too much because I don't want the scissors to touch the corneal endothelium and I don't want them to go too far posteriorly to cut the anterior capsule margin. So now that we have the IOL in two halves, we just grab one of the halves and protect the corneal endothelium with the second instrument and remove that out of the incision. And then we try to do the same thing for the other side. At first here, I don't have enough purchase on the IOL, so the grasper slips. So I'm just going to get a better bite. But before I do that, I'm going to reinflate the anterior chamber with some viscoelastic to make sure that the endothelium is protected and I have enough space. So now we'll have a second attempt at grabbing that IOL. We'll try to get a little bit of a better bite. And that's it. So now we're just going to remove the viscoelastic, return the eye to its natural state. She did great and was very happy with her vision after the IOL exchange. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your attention. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.